Jeff here. I just want to reach out to the members of Steadfast Jacksonville, particularly the ones that have potentially defected Adam's side or anyone that's on the fence. Do not show up to his church today. Do not show up to even cast a vote. Even if it's a no vote, not showing up is a no vote. And you know what? If you want him to be your pastor, well, now's the time not to even get involved. If he really cares about you, just stay back, let the dust settle, and see where this thing ends up. But I have, I, I do, I do not trust Adam Fannin at all. He has been displaying some odd behaviors that are inconsistent with an innocent man that I won't even get into, except for this one point. Adam Fannin, you can look at his video where he said that it's a conspiracy, a conspiracy against him. Past, uh, Pastor Anderson and Pastor Shelley uh, are are conspiring against him, and there needs to be an investigation. That's the language of a desperate man who's guilty of something. I don't know what, but just look, go to 1 Samuel 22 and read about King. The guilty King Saul used the same tactic against the innocent King David. There's something going on and Adam's involved and he, he, his, he's digging his heels in. So do not be a partaker of his sins by showing up and supporting him. Just back off and let the investigation take place because this is going to be an honest investigation and then we'll know what's really going on. But do not, he's trying to make this issue. He's arguing, he's, he's complaining about Pastor Anderson and Shelley. Why isn't he complaining about Romero? Why isn't Romero, uh, why, isn't, why doesn't he feel hurt by Romero? Ask yourself that. He's trying to make the issue about Pastor Anderson and Shelley. It's like he's forgotten about Romero. Because he knows something. There, he, I believe he's guilty of something. Do not show up. Please, I beg you, do not show up to vote. Do not entertain him or support him.